what we're looking for when we're looking at shapes. We're going to talk about two shapes. We have a circle and a rectangle. Everyone use your hands and show me a circle. Today, I taught them reasoning with shapes. It is a standard that the kids will always have to know about all throughout school. Uh, to me, it is the foundation for fractions to get them ready for second, third, and on up. You're going to be able to say, I can break apart a circle and a rectangle into halves and fourths or quarters. First, I always want them to know what they're going to be learning about so that when it's time to show me what they have learned, they'll understand you know, that I've actually done it. Here's our learning goal. So it's my job, it's my responsibility to make sure I learn that goal. I know why they call them quarters. Okay. Because like if you have a graham cracker, um, four quarters makes a whole dollar and, and four of the fourths um, mean, means that like it makes like a whole graham cracker. Wow. I use different math tools because the kids, they, they learn differently and I want to make sure I, I, I'm able to meet their learning styles. So that's why I let some of them like to be moving around. Some of them love to just sit at the smart board. They're fine with that, but um, I like making sure I engage all of their learning styles. If we cut the pie into two pieces, you are cutting the pie in what? Raise your hand, tell me, is that halves? Is that quarter? Is that fourths? What is that? If me and Ms. Adams both had the same amount, just like the pie shows us, what is that called, Jillian? Half. That's a half. How do you know it's a half? Because it's two equal parts. It's two equal parts. Using a real object was important to me. Um, one for my class, our lunches later in the day. So I figured them using something edible <laughs> was going to help them stay engaged. And I know that at home, they bring in snacks a lot in my classroom. So just something they can relate to. We have six cookies all together. You need to give them two. And they can both get three. Oh, she says we need to move some of these. So they both should have three. I use fair share for two reasons. One, for the math, to let them know that it's equal, and just socially for the kids, that they, you know, remember how to be a friend. So it's not just math, it's incorporating personal things. So we want to always make sure when we're breaking these apart into half or quarter, they are equal parts, equal parts. So we'll have a fair share. The partner can help them if they struggle. And when I'm walking around, I'm able to ask questions to make sure they understand it. I can take mental notes or notes on paper to let me know who actually learned their learning goal for the day and who do I need to work with in small group or centers more. All right, so Skylar chose unequal when looking at what shape is this? Everybody? Circle. So she looks at the circle and someone tell us, let's see, Jay. When you look at this circle, half or fourths, what do you say? Equal. Halves or fourths? Half. Half. Okay, so Skylar is now looking at it. I think she wants to change her mind. Skylar, this is a circle. Jay just told us it's in half. So is this equal or unequal? You want to keep your answer or you want to change it? Mm -hmm. All right, she's going to change it. Go ahead, take it off. Go find another one that's unequal for me. I think it's going to prepare them for the real world, especially when I use examples for snacks. It's going to help them um, not necessarily do paper pencil. It's going to help them say, I'm going to really use this one day. I'm going to, I use it every day sometimes. So when we get the questions, when the kids ask the question, am I ever going to use this? They'll go back and remember, yes, I, I'll always use this, especially in the real world. While you're on the line part, flip it over. This is your rectangle. I need you to put this into quarters. Draw lines to make this quarter and then shade in. Mean color in with your pencil. One of the fourths. Uh, the trigger for me today was the exit ticket. For those who really struggle with, you know, they came back and said, well, what's a fourth? So that let me know that they didn't get it from the beginning. So I need to go back and sit with them one-on-one -on -one or definitely in a small group. Um, especially the ones that stru struggle with just even putting it into four parts like the direction said. Um, I would advise parents to um, use the, the terminology that, they've, that the kids are bringing home. Ask their child um, questions about what they learned so that it'll help them better understand what they learned through the day. 
and use those terms when they're with them in the grocery store, when they're with them um, helping prepare dinner. So they'll, those terms will sink in even more.